Hello students, in this video we will be reading chapter 10 of standard 5th value education. Name of this chapter is Isaac Newton. Now you all know who Isaac Newton is because you have studied about him before. He is a great scientist, the greatest of his own time and he was the inventor, the founder of the term known as gravity. What is gravity? The energy that keeps us steady to the surface of the earth keeps everything on this planet intact in its place. That force is known as gravity. Now let's try to find out what more we got to learn about Sir Isaac Newton through this lesson. But before we start this lesson, there is a small warm-up exercise here. Look at the picture below and discuss the answers to these questions. So we have to see, observe this image which is given and we have to say the answers. How old do you think the man sitting on the chair is? So he looks quite old, he might be about 60. Then next question is what does he want to learn? So, as you can see, since he's sitting in front of a computer, he wants to learn about how a computer works and what are the features of a computer. The next question is, can he learn it? So, yes, everybody can learn if they try. So, yes, the old man can learn how to use or operate a computer. Then, is it too late? No, it's never too late for you to learn something new. It is even scientifically proven that, yeah, it takes some time for the people who are grown up to learn, but it is never too late. It is always possible for you to learn something new in your life. So, since we have answered and discussed these questions, let's move forward. Now let us read the lesson. A young man was sitting under a tree, suddenly an apple from a tree. Most people would either not notice it or they would pick up the apple and eat it. But this young man started thinking why had the apple fallen. Of course everyone knew that things would fall if nothing was holding them up but why so first of all this incident which happened with sir isaac newton if it would have been somebody else someone who was not so very smart or some common person okay then what would have happened they would have either not noticed the apple or either they would have picked up the apple and eaten it but sir isaac newton was a, not a common person he was different he was wise he was a man filled with ideas so he thought that why had the apple fallen down now an idea came to his mind what if the apple had fallen because the earth had pulled it like how magnet pulls iron towards it. The, the young man thought of a name for this force. What force? The force by which the apple was attracted to fall on the earth. The magnetic force. He named it, he called it gravity. This young man's name was Isaac Newton. He was only 23 years old and he had made one of the greatest discoveries in the history of science. So when this incident took place, he was only 23 years old and he had already invented the term known as gravity, the force of gravity. Isaac Newton was born on Christmas Day, that means 25th December, in the year 1940, uh, sorry, 1642, in a village in England. He went to the local school, he did very well in his lessons, 
At the age of 18, Isaac left the village and went to Cambridge University. Cambridge University is a very renowned university. It's like a college to where you go after you have completed your higher secondary education, like that. There, he studied all the time and was interested in the stars and planets. Once, he became nearly blind by staring at the sun. He had to lie in a dark room for three days before he could see again. So he was, he had conditioned himself to be partially blind because he stared at the sun continuously for a long time. And due to that, his retina got damaged and to repair those retina, you have to keep yourself in a dark room when he stayed for nearly three days so that his retina could recover its visuality. Newton was very good at mathematics. He soon understood the most difficult mathematics of that time. A few years later, Newton invented a telescope. The scientist of that of the time said that his telescope was very good. He also wrote two books to share his ideas and inventions with the world. Isaac Newton is considered the greatest scientist of all time. Here we end our lesson. So children did you know, did you learn about Isaac Newton more than you already knew before? So this is how we got the term the force gravity. The force was already there but we did not we wouldn't have known about it if it wouldn't have been for Sir Isaac Newton. So let's see the exercise of this lesson. Complete these sentences. The, this exercise is on page 40 of your textbook. When Newton was sitting under a tree, one day what happened? An apple fell from a tree. The apple fell because why did the apple fall? The earth had pulled it. The name that Newton gave to the earth's force was gravity. And Newton was good at mathematics. Isaac Newton is considered the greatest scientist of his time. So here we end our exercise. I hope that you all understand this lesson. And I hope that you all get inspired by Sir Isaac Newton, the way he used his presence of mind and he tried to think different than what common person would have thought. Thank you. Have a nice day. God bless you all.